All rise. We will away. Please be seated. We have a Thank you very much, witness. Welcome back, Ms. Blasman. Welcome back, Mr. Witness. Um, so yesterday, uh, you confirmed to the judge the suggestion that, though you heard these peace messages that we've just gone through, around the same time you also heard mixed messages that inflamed matters. Do you recall that you said that yesterday? Yes, Your Honor. And I just want to go through them, uh, looking at your testimony. Um, I would summarize them as follows, and obviously you can correct me if I'm wrong. You, you spoke about retreat messages during the aftermath of the election, and you said that, you, you, that Joshua Arab Sang told people to retreat because police was using live bullets. Is that, do you recall saying that? Yes, Your Honor. And you also spoke about an announcement on the 31st of a Harambi. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And for the record, Harambi is a Kiswahili word for <laughs> fundraising, isn't it? Yes, Your Honor. And then the last one that you were speaking about was a message immediately on the 30th, immediately after the announcement of the result. And you said that Mr. Sung said three things during that message. First, he said to people to demand your rights and come out in the streets. Do you recall that? Yes, Your Honor. And you also mentioned that he talked about... He also uh, told the youth in his own area to block the roads, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And then he also was talking, and I'm just quoting you, this is Monday, so that was the 1st of December, page 11 at line 24. He was talking like in Kalenjin, and he was saying that the leg of the cow from the stomach has just shown, but now it has returned to the stomach again. Is that correct? Yes. So that is the totality of that message, as far as I uh, recall it, and these are the three categories of messages that you refer to, is that correct? Correct. Now, witness, asking people to retreat is not the same as asking people to use violence. Do you agree with me? I can agree, but my functions, my, the way I was putting it, it um, I can, it, I, I'm, the word retreats, okay, it's not violent, but according to me, this is, uh, it is like somebody was uh, commanding the youth. So that's your interpretation? Yes. You confirm that. And um, retreat? is rather the opposite from going out in the streets. Is that not right? That is what I said. I said he was saying that during that particular moment to make the youths to go aside because he was aware that they will be using life bullets at that particular moment. And there was some mixed up. This is to show that uh, Sun was in uh, command. But that, again, is your interpretation, right?
Anyway, moving to the next, uh, the, the blocking the road in his area. You, you, you did say that your interpretation was that this was to block the Kikuyu, but again you said these were not the words used by Mr. Sang. It's your interpretation. That's correct, is it not? It's not my interpretation. It's the word he said that to block the road. And just about the calf, you said um, it meant that he was disappointed in the results of the election. Is that correct? That's what I, <coughs> I said. But that's according to my relocate, uh, 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 still remembering what I said, is that uh, it was uh, actually uh, saying that uh, that what and uh, you agree, you remember that a lot of people at that time were surprised by the outcome of the election. Do you agree with that? That one. Um, I don't know what you want to mean, but it so was surprised, but they were doing it. Why do they surprise and then they were just doing it? I'm not talking about doing anything. I'm talking about the announcement of the election. Well, that came as a surprise to a lot of people in Kenya, did it not? If you can tell help the witness understand the question, I don't think he understands the question you're asking. Uh, why is it? that you might suggest to him why they may have been surprised. Maybe perhaps that could help him people, understand your question. People in Kenya generally are very surprised that Kibaki won and not Raila Odinga. Do you agree with that? Um, prior to election there were some messages from ODM and some peak of it already inside people that election will be rigged. So it is like people were aware, and even that plan of mass actions is like it was actually planned. And uh, uh, distractions was because they were already aware that election will be rigged. But the mass action, as you talked about, um what, what was announced was a peaceful mass action. Do you agree with that? That was the ODM announcement on the 31st. I agree, but um, why should they stop immediately again if they discover that it's not peaceful mass action? And it is not mass action to block the road. It's not peaceful to block the roads. Well, witness, um, you can ask our questions um, fully. <clears throat> what we will try to avoid is arguing. Okay, yes, Your Honor. Um, you can... Those answers you are putting as an argument, you can turn them around so that they come out as a positive proposition, for example, instead of saying, why would they block the road, you can, if that is your, your position, you can say, well, if that is the case, they will not block the road, something like that, uh, instead of saying, why, ask the lawyer question so that you get into an argument with her. We, we try not to have arguments between lawyers and witnesses. I will not permit her to argue with you. I will also not allow you to argue with her. But one um, matter I need you to clear, clear up is when you say that people were already aware that the elections would be rigged, I need you to explain to me what you mean by aware. The use of that word, people were already aware that the election would be rigged. What are you trying to tell us? Or what are you telling us? 
And um, Your Honor, this is the position I've been, I can confirm to myself that prior to election, um, prominent ladies, especially um, the Honorable William Ruto, have been quoted in some uh, places saying that we are aware that they are planning to rig elections and now let them try and then they will see. So it is already that that thing is already uh, in the minds of the public by then. All right, thank you. Please proceed, Ms. Bassman. Yes, thank you for the clarification. Um, well, you said uh, when you heard this particular message immediately after the uh, announcement of the results, and there was this reference to uh, the calving, uh, you said there was already a lot of activity in the streets. Is, is that right? Yes, Your Honor. A lot of demonstrations? Yes, Your Honor. And I suggest to you there were not only Kalenjins. That's right, isn't it? That, um, in my testimony, it's part of my area. But there are other tribes? Yes, Your Honor. As I've said during my testimony. Are Lewis in the street? Yes, Your Honor. Louis? I said this before, Your Honor. It's yes. And you also said some other tribes. Can you, be, can you tell us about other tribes? <coughs> Um, we have so many tribes in Kenya, 42 in number, but there is even uh, like Tesos, Tesos and Turkanas can be also be there. I think you might have to spell that for the record, please. Which one? Both. Turkana will be T U. R K A N A, is that it? Yes. All right. Okay. Can you spell the first one? Did you say Tesos? Teso, yeah. How Teso. do you spell that? D E D E S O. D E S O. Yes. Thank you. Any other that you can remember? There's also some kisses who are for ODM Biden. Yes. Any other? But I cannot mention all tribes because um, only there's those also, there, is, there is also people from uh, Northeast and some of the people, Swahilis, or yes, people like that. Do they have a name or is it just a Swahili population? Somali communities. Witness. Now you told us that you heard, um, you, you listen to Kasavem because it's your language. What about all the other um, people from other ethnic groups? They, they listen to their own radio programs? I cannot confirm how, if they listen or they just listen to the national radio. Because we have also national radios like Swahili with podcasts in Swahili or English. And you also said you heard many messages from television and radio. Uh, which uh, television channel? I then uh, could follow this from Kenyans and one of them also I could also another Al Jazeera from international TV. So there was a lot of messages from all over and there was a lot of activities in the street. Would you agree with me that you cannot confirm that people were triggered who were in the streets by the CAS announcement? You don't know. As I can confirm that uh, my region is mostly listened to Kasavam. 
What about the other ethnic groups? Uh, uh, the other ethnic groups can listen to any other stations, but I can confirm to mostly listened uh, stations in my region is CAS FM. But as you say yourself, there were already rumors about the election uh, that would be rigged. Um, so people were already in the streets when you heard that announcement on CAS. Is it possible that people were triggered by other events? If you can tell me, Your Honor, which kind of, which kind of other events? You who was telling us that you heard uh, even before there were rumors that the elections would be rigged and that people were talking about it. So was that not the trigger of people being in the streets? Yes, that is one of the, the messages that already people had prepared that uh, uh, election will be rigged. That's why they were being incited before by the same ladies. Thank you. Now, I would like you to listen to another audio, um, and this is the audio on 29th of December. <coughs> it is in the core binder, uh, tab number six. And the audio has the number KEN-D11-0006-002. It also has an EVD number, EVD-T-D11-00016. And the transcript and translation has the number KEN-D11-0006. dash D eleven dash zero 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 eight dash zero 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 one and the EVD number is EVD dash T dash D eleven dash zero 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 seventeen one seven. So if a copy could also be placed in front of the witness. Mr. Witness, uh, we'll follow the same procedure. You have the copy in front of you. We're going to listen to certain passages, not the entire audio. Um, and I will ask you to, to look at the document and tell us if it's a fair translation. I thought you said we were done with that exercise. Well, these Obviously are not, not. Well, these are not peace messages uh, of, of other people. It's not peace messages after the first. And this is directly relevant, as you will find. Um, I'm not finished. saying it is not relevant. But I didn't proceed, mean to say proceed. we were finished with audio. So I want to make that very clear because there will be quite a few coming. Ms. Beisman, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, the ERN number of the audio is ending uh, by 23 in our records. Could you please confirm? Yes, I confirm. And it's track 0025. I would like to, us to listen to um, its timestamp 43.19 up to 44, and this is at page 22 of the translation, which is 0023. Chegou e com muito, com a minha tudo, com a minha mulher, com a minha mulher, é? 
ko go arabi go le ka lia bi jo ango ango gile ango goro arna ka go gabir gura ko mie ko gabunna na ngale kyo lage ko no witness could you follow the audio yes your honor and could you also follow the transcription yes your honor so I will, would like to read this into the record, into English, and please confirm that this is a fair and accurate translation. Starting at page 21. Sorry, page 22. That is the position now. The results have not been announced. And since the announcement has not been made, what is your worry? What is worrying you when I have told you the cow will calve? You know every cow in birth pangs will eventually calve. It is like this. The cow will rub herself against the wall, but it must eventually calve. Without doubt, it will cough. In that case, what is the basis of all these issues? Issues that could result in destruction here and there. And then people will develop a bad picture of us, wondering where this has come from, given that we are a good people and that we voted well. Mr. Witness. Does this correspond to what you've heard in Kalenjin? Yes, Your Honor. Is it a fair translation? It is. Did you recognize the voice? Yes, Your Honor. Can you tell us who it is, please? It's the voice of the church, Your And can you confirm I'm just told that at page 49, line 4 of the transcript, there is a missing word, calve, C-A-L-V-E. Page 49 of the transcript, uh -oh. line 4. Witness, Sorry, witness. that's not for you, that's for the court reporters. Mr. Witness, did you hear this message on the 29th of December of 2007? Did you hear Mr. Song speak about this cow, who will cough? Um, I can't remember very well about that, that message of Song, because um, if it was announced in the afternoon or whatever, I was no generator all the time. Would you agree that this is the same cow and calf as the one that you were referring to in your message, meaning the result of the election? Is, is that fair? The message that I was saying, it was on that yet, not 29. But the cow that you were talking about and the calf had the same meaning, is that right? Meaning they're waiting for the announcement of the election results to come out. Is that right? Yes, according to this message, it is that way. According to you? That is what I understood you to say. Yes, it is uh, clear that uh, after the expectation of the cow to come out of the calf, but it was a turn. That is now, it's another action. But initially, it, they were waiting for that to happen. Yes, but is because it didn't happen the way they wanted, that is to mean to directly that it is opposite to what could happen. Now, I understood that, and this is before the election, just one day. Um, would you agree? having listened to this, that um, even 
But what Joshua Sang is saying, that the election result will be announced even though it might take a bit longer than expected, it will cough. The election result will be announced. That's what he says, right? Yes, I think so. So he's asking people to be patient. Is that right? That is, um, yes, Your Honor. Just so you know, um, this, this recording is actually from the morning program. Is that a morning program you listen to on the 29th? Do, can you recall? This is the, the, if it is that program, it's okay, I listen to that program, but I cannot recall all messages that could happen that particular morning. You do recall that you did listen to Kasavim that morning? Yes, I could, I could do, but Your Honor, to listen the whole time, all through to, the, to 8 o'clock, can be... You cannot collect all information. I, I understand, Mr. Witness. Just, I want to correct myself. I think I said it was a day before um, the election, but I meant to say it was a day before the results was announced. Yes, Your Honor. The election had already taken place. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you, witness. I'd like you to uh, listen to another part of the same audio, and again, Listen to it and see if you uh, if you've heard it before, if, you, if it makes sense to you. This is now um, at 51.51 uh, up to 52.45. It is at pages 0025 to 0026 of the translation. Are you there, witness? 002. It's uh, 0025 to 0026, and in fact, in normal numbers, it's page 24 of, of the transcription and translation. Okay. You found it? Yes, sir. So if I may have the floor, we will now listen to the message. Rejoinamajagatutas <laughs> Mr. Witness, could you follow that on the audio? Yes, sir. Yes. Could you also follow it on the document, the translation and transcription? Yes, sir. Yes. Did you recognize the voice? Yes, sir. Yes. Can you confirm who it was? It was Mr. Sang. Thank you, Witness. I would like to now uh, record in the transcript the English translation and um, we ask you again to tell us if it's a fair translation of what you've heard in Kalenjin. Kalenjin people, I wish to insist on this. Honestly, some discontent may be there since protected periods of waiting for this to happen may uh, it's like waiting for money of the bank, and it takes long. It can be frustrating. Similarly, it is frustrating if waiting for a cow to calve takes too long. 
or a woman in labor. The process usually frustrates her children, siblings, herself, and husband. So what? It's not like in the frustration we destroy property. We do not destroy things. We just bear the frustration as we think about what may be happening and pray and be patient. That is how it is. People of Cheplaske who have barricaded the road, open the road. Same to people of Mulango, Eldoret, open the roads. Nandi Hills, abandon, open all roads. You know you could attempt to do what others are doing, but as a result, a curfew could be declared. Will that help? That will worsen the situation. Mr. Witness, is that a fair translation of what you've heard in Kalenjin? Yes, Your Honor. And do you recognize this? Have you heard it before? The voice. Sorry. I, I recognize the voice of Mr. Sun. And uh, we already know that you listened at least for part of the morning of 29th, you listened to Kas FM, but do you recall having heard this particular part of the message? Yes, I have said that, uh, yes, I could rem I cannot remember very well, but I just remember some of it. Sometimes he could, as I have always said, even so all of this week, that sometimes he could inform people to open the roads. And just for the record, not to you, Mr. Witness, for the, uh, the record, page 93 of the transcript, lines 53, uh, lines 19 and 20, should read, Cur curfew could be declared, not chaired. Mr. Witness, do you recall any parallel uh, or comparison with the phrase woman in labor. Do you recall that? Sorry, did you answer? Yes, Your Honor. What was your answer? I say I can, I can recall, yes. You can? Yes, I can. Yeah. And a uh, 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 reference to waiting for money in the bank, is that something you recall as well? Not really, but the word uh, for woman is, uh, I think I can, yeah, I can remember. Thank you. And can you just confirm that in this particular part, he, uh, Mr. Joshua Arabsang is condemning destruction of property and he's asking people to be patient. Do you confirm that? But I think you, you can move on with that sort of question. The witness has said repeatedly that Mr. Sang was sending mixed messages. Sometimes he would broadcast messages of peace. Other times, he would be saying things that would inflame the, the circumstances. Uh, I don't know whether we need to stop him at every point that the transcript, which is already in evidence, indicates a message of peace, unless there's a specific reason why you need to stop to do that. But just to have him confirm that, which is on the record, and which is not inconsistent with this testimony is something we would try to avoid doing just for mere purposes of getting him to say yes I see it as well. I'm guided. Can I ask the question a bit differently? Uh, Mr. Witness, do you confirm that you heard at that particular time 
Did you hear Mr. Sang condemning the destruction of property? If I can answer that way, yes. And do you also confirm that Mr. Joshua Arabsang in that particular period was asking people to open the roads? I can confirm but that particular time. But this is only for some few time. But the rest of the day you cannot I can confirm that time that he was actually preaching face. Thank you, witness. I'd like to go to another part of this audio, which starts at uh, timestamp 20.45 up to 21.59, and the pages in the transcription slash translation document are 0014 to 0015. Basically, page? Uh, the, the, the number page is 13 to 14, and on the bottom there's another KEN number, which has the pages 0014 to 0015. What type did you already indicate the type? Uh, six of the core, uh, tab six of the core binder. Where we are. It's the same audio, yeah. Did you find it, Mr. Witness? Page 13. Yes. Mm -hmm. <coughs> if I have the floor, I'd like to listen to this part of the audio. Kilamgo Log, a meta Kenya Togol, could talk not in so Mamigina, what tell a toss IG, a cute name which go al, could see Yota, could get Kitoko game, Mutas Rabbit Kedu, Electoral Commission, Kugone Gabarasta, and Otak Anxiety at Togol, Ungari Tension, Ungimetaj Bigabalate, Kawasangotara, Bruto Mitang Naga, Kumiko Verinda Kogani Jagatrasal, so Mute Ungulimbaga, Mota Bor, Yetsuko Ekonyo, Jutano Chibuch, and Alek Chimajoto, so Leonis Kubavi to Tagang, Kogo Hotel, Agobar, Ko Mabota Vikia Togmitaga. Ongemute, Piga Bomet, Piga Kericho, Omigo Mion, Gamute Litinulo, Ongemute Nakuru Cabarnet, El Damaravin, Awil Dore, Tola Togolo Limbajaranga, Labago Pogot, Omita Quek, Mamingo Lio, Kimigo Mie, Kimigo Mie, Gumatianga Tole, Giboros Toy, Agiboros Toy, Walute Chata Chumaje. Mr. Witness, did you follow? Yes, Your Honor. So then I would like to read the English translation and we'll ask you again if it's a fair translation of what you heard on the audio. You know how you voted, and Kenyans express their will. Therefore, I do not think one can change anything now. So all we need to do now is to be patient and wait for Electoral Commission to make the announcement at any time. Let us not fan tension. Let us leave it to the politicians. You have heard Honorable Ruto and others and Niaga are on the side waiting for the results. So be patient over there at home. Don't engage in violence, as others could take advantage to engage in unruly <coughs> activities. The election was just a day. You have voted and have succeeded. People at the grassroots are not to blame. Getting angry at one another at the grassroots will not resolve anything. If there are any issues, they will be solved above. But they, 
the people at home are not responsible. So don't displace your anger onto unwarranted targets. You've been with your neighbors all along, even if they voted for a person you did not want. Leave them alone. Still, we all live in Kenya, and each one is looking out for their property. So I beseech you in Jesus' name, Kalenjin people, let's be patient. People of Bomet, people of Gericho, all is well. Let's be patient. At Litain, let us be patient. Nakuru, Gabernet, Eldama, Ravin, all the way to Eldoret, all these places. Cherengani, Pokot, exercise restraint. All is well, we are okay. We are okay in a short while. I know the results which you are yearning for will be announced. Is that a fair translation? Yes. For the record, I will spell Litein is L-I-T-E-I-N and Eldama Ravine, E L D D A M A R A V I N E. Witness, can you confirm that Jarangani, one of the places that Joshua Arab Sang is referring to in the very last paragraph, is his area? Do you agree with that? I can agree Jarangani is his area. And generally, in that time, do you recall Joshua Arab Sang telling people not to get angry with their neighbors or others on the civilian side? even if they're frustrated with their politicians. Do you recall him giving out that sort of message? Your Honor, mm, I didn't listen to all part of the messages. I can confirm when I read it now, but I cannot remember when I heard him. But I didn't deny that he was not preaching peace, but he was. But this kind of messages deeply, I cannot really remember. Thank you, witness. I'll just move on to another part of the audio. Now, at um, timestamp 31.41 up to 32.56, if it's on the document, it's page 17 to 18, which corresponds to 0018 to 0019 in the KEN number. <coughs> Did you find that, Mr. Witness? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Postman, um, how much I did not ask you this question already, but you, I'm sure you anticipated it coming. Okay. How much longer would you need to stay with this witness? At least until tomorrow. But, uh, yeah. Tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon. Proceed. So you found it. Um, if I have the floor, I would like to listen to that part, please. 
Wewe kwa takwa lenye na michikiti wale jo tutastake mutyon ki mutyon eh kuna ta biga bel red piga ba limbo kericho piga ka barnet piga bola to limbo mara kwete piga ka lenye na mjale jo ku mutyon ngale jo tukul umete propaganda cho bo ASMS che tsta jo gira ko tsirwa biga la ko studio ki la ko gi le jibi jala ko barasta gi la ko stiranum mm o mute lazima ko bit manda ngi meta Kenya but ko ko imuch ko bit manda ko kelwen ko ndu cha tsirwa gi leweni to sile ja go mi tekina go yaman go gisir minister ya garbu kanyu tipte minister ya tukul go gisir kuto ge le mi manda engo ma stable electoral commission ay tuku ke twaga so ma bo tele mi ngol yaga tukul le mi ngot ko ganyi ki tukay tersal se go basta ge kungut ko mi ngol yaga se ne mi singu sir yoto ko onge meto ji biga balatet ka wa solimi te biga balatet chorta ji bacha ma ne ke ter ter chin onge meto ji ngale yoto ko bor ye je ga ache ga ti ka ga mo ange jut ngale ji mo ange jut ngale ji mo bo tabi ke mi ga mo bo tabi ki mengi ji tukul mo bo to jawo be do ti ngolo o mete je marget on gi gen ki tio ko ma ya o o ta o bai bo ye no bo 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 chini ka be li che no ta na ka be tangu na to cho be ge o cho be shire cho ko ga cho bo mp cho ba ga so la cho ko sir ya o ga nya ba president ku no to am jo le ge cho o mi te mie mi sing ye ge meng jin de eng Mr. Witness could you follow the audio Yes, Your Honor. Then I would like you to look at me at the translation and tell me again if it's a fair translation. At page 17. <coughs> Our Kalenjin people, I would like to beseech you to continue being patient. Let's be patient, people of Eldoret, people of Kericho, people of Cabernet, generally the whole Kalenjin community. I would like to tell you to take all these things slowly. Ignore propaganda now spreading through SMS, some of which I have received here in the studio, indicating that some people have been asked to announce that so-and-so has won. No, no, be patient. Justice will prevail in the nation of Kenya if justice was upheld until we elected the leaders as we did, is it possible for you to say something went wrong, really? Ministers were beaten. The number of ministers who were beaten is approaching 20 now, which shows us that the, elder, uh, the Electoral Commission is transparent. They are doing their duty. Therefore, I do not think there is any issue that is hidden. They are just awaiting results from some region. And if there is an issue beyond that, let us leave it to politicians. You've heard about politicians from different parties. Let's leave those issues to them. Let's not dabble in this, please, as it doesn't involve people at the grassroots. It has nothing to do with the people with whom we live, nor with idlers. Do not engage in skirmishes. Mr. Witness, is that a fair translation? It is. And did you recall, do you recall hearing this before? I can uh, do confirm, but uh, I am repeatedly saying that I could not remember exact words because of that time. It's long. Do you remember a message like this? I remember a message of peace. And you remember that Joshua Arab song generally um, had confidence in the ECK, the Electoral Commission of Kenya. Do you confirm that? According to what I could see in these transcripts, I also confirmed that he was having confidence in the Electoral Commission. And according to your recollection, is that correct as well? Um, I'm not sure about that. 
Uh, let's look at uh, what he says about propaganda. This is at page 17, midway, where he said, I'll be very, ignore propaganda now spreading through SMS. You see that, right? Do you agree with me that that propaganda refers to Raila being sworn in as president? Yes, there is some messages of propaganda that took place that time, but it's not part of, uh, yes, I, part of my testimony. No, but you do see that um, Mr. Joshua Arab Sang was against this sort of propaganda. Do you recall? Do you see that in the transcript? I can see that in the transcript. Is that, does that correspond with your recollection of that time? As I've said earlier, there was some mixed message that came out from the same son could do the opposite of what it actually he was actually most of his time announcing things of the peace and uh, could put some inside word that could cause opposite but actually most of his time when he was in studio he was preaching the peace thank you witness just help me there is a um there is a gap in the transcript when I ask you to look at what he says about propaganda. This is at page 70 midway. This is uh, at the transcript uh, 61 line 10. And I ask you, you see that, right? When I refer you to that passage at page 17. Yes, in my recollection, you said yes. Yes, sir. Thank you, witness. Then I'd like to take you to one more passage in the oh, transcript, which is at 42.39, that's the timestamp, and it's page 21 of the translation transcription document, which corresponds with the KN number 0022. Page 21. You see that witness? Yes, sir. You start at voice one. And just one thing I want to clarify with you. Everything we've heard so far was Joshua Arab Sang himself, correct? Of this audio. Yes, Your Honor. Thank you. If I have the floor, I'd like to listen to this passage. Omite, a wiggy go nature again, Nagel, and one go over his bit of ready as to give a vegetable noto, Nagago, Muko, or Jangere, not to be president and game at Kenya, Kosuke, Akolo, Bitakura, big up calling in, up big up Kenya. Witness, did you follow that on the audio? Yes. So just Look with me through the translation, please. Right. Kalenjin people, wherever you are, you are tuned in to your station, KAS FM, where we are still waiting for the results from the Electoral Commission. Results, I'm sure, are almost complete now, and soon we will be letting you know who has won. In this regard, I wish to let you know that nothing is amiss. Be patient until we are informed 
on who has won this election so that we can all celebrate whoever has won the seat of the President of Kenya as decided by Kenyans in the ballot box. Is that a fair translation? It is. And do you recall Joshua Arab Sang saying that whoever has won, it's the ballot box that decides? Do you recall that? I cannot recall. Okay, then I would like to go to another portion of this audio at page 34, Mr. Witness, which is page 0035 of the key uh, number. And it is at time stamps 93.20 up to 93.43. Before you play the witness you've testified about this matter of, in your view, Mr. Sang sending mixed messages, and you say, I believe you said most of the time he was preaching peace, but from time to time he would inject words or phrases that would work in the opposite direction. That was your evidence? That is part of my evidence that I've been saying that there was some mixed word. That's what I can confirm. But I could also confirm that he was also preaching peace. On those occasions when he would, according to you, have injected words or phrases or messages that worked against his message of peace. Did you, at the time, form the impression that he was deliberately injecting those negative messages within the overall message of peace or that perhaps he expressed himself awkwardly and that people may then hang on to those awkward phrasing to disrupt the peace. What is what was your appreciation of what was going on at the time, as a person listening to the messages according to your testimony? By then, Your Honor, people were listening actually to the radio, and anything that Sang could say, they cannot even verify. They think that it is uh, accurate, and they will act according to what they created. If they believe that election is not yet uh, confirmed, yes, but they are sure that the election is going to be rigged. And then they will also continue doing distractions. That even they believe that the radio have said this, that is Mr. Sun have said this. My, my question really was, relates to how you appreciated his message yourself. Yes, I appreciate that he was uh, really trying effort to make peace. By then, sometimes. Sometimes? Yes, most of the time, but he could not use the entire radio's broadcast to announce negative things. Otherwise, it could not be good for him. Otherwise, he could just jump in in an op opposite word that even in a, a second he could read past the message. So okay, that's the point. I'm, uh, what I'm trying to, what I'm driving at. Those instances where he would inject those negative words. You say it could be a matter of seconds. Yes. But what I'm trying to understand from you is how you viewed things at the time. 
um, did you get the impression that he deliberately injected those negative words in order to disrupt the peace, or that maybe he said something that he did not choose his words well? He may not have meant to disrupt the peace, but he just said this thing should not have been said in your view because you could see it being problematic. How did you see it? Uh, my view is that he was doing this deliberately. Thank you. Please continue. Thank you. Um, I'd like to have the floor for, um, as I said earlier, to page 34 of the translation. Are you with me, Mr. Witness? I'm with you, Your Honor. Thank you. So I'll play now. Kidding me, get you what the style reap. Carl yet. Reap Carl yet. Morning, Rick's me sing. Oh, my God, I'm going to last me go see it on a man, eh? Last me go see it again. I give a rusty way, get out of here, Adam. Quick, I was here, go not to go to the other one. I was here. Go get your own gun. Moodle will be able to tip toy. Go get your own wagon. Made in me, get in. Would you follow that, Mr. Witness, on the audio? Yeah, Anna. Yes, Your Honor. So I just read the English and you tell me if it's correct. Only one thing. Keep maintaining peace. Maintain peace. Do not be angry. Do not be too angry. Why do you fret and yet you know that someone has to win this lag? One person has to win and the announcement will be made stating who has won and whoever wins will be the valid winner except I know how people's hearts operate Jehovah too don't imagine that he does not he does is that a fair translation it is Johanna do you agree that looking at this message he's open to either ODM or PNU winning the presidential elections. Do you agree with me? I agree. And is that your general recollection of that time? I would say I could not put general recognition, but I was still having a reserve to work. Some words, but I'm um, saying most of the time he was actually meaning what he was saying. Yeah. Thank you, witness. And there's one last person. I'm sure the judges will be delighted to hear that. That I'd like you to uh, listen to, and then we move on from this audio. The last portion is at. Page 26 for you, Mr. Witness. Timestamp 53.13 up to 53.33. And 26. And uh, in fact, it started 25 in the Kalenjin. It started 25. It's the English that started 26. corresponds with the KEN number 0027. Are you with me? I'm with you. So I'll play the audio now. So I'm going to go to the house. So I'm going to go to the house. So could you follow that on the audio, Mr. Witness? Yes, we yeah. are. I'll read the English translation into the record, and again I'll ask you if it's a fair translation. 
I want to ask each one to remain stationed in one place, stay wherever you are. And people intending to leave home, please relax at home. If it's not absolutely necessary for you to go to town, stay at home. As for those people who are screaming and setting vehicles on fire in Kerejo, no please. Do not set any bus vehicle on fire. Do not stone vehicles. Kerejo people do not do that. That behavior does not befit the Kalenjin people. Is that a fair translation, Mr. Witness? It is fair. Yes. Do you recall from that time that Mr. Joshua Arab Sang would tell people not to go and put vehicles on fire? Do you recall that? I can't recall, but the flow of the transcript is clear, but I can't recall myself. Do you recall that he told people not to use violence? Do you recall that? Yes, I can remember you used that so somewhat. Do you also recall that he asked people not to go and demonstrate? Do you recall that? The people already were in, 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 in town by the time I was listening to it. But can I ask you, in this audio that I have played for you, have you heard anything inciting? I think this document is, is uh, I, I could not listen any inciting. Did you mean you did not hear any inciting words? In this, in this video that I've listened to. In the audio you've just listened to? Yes. <laughs> any mixed messages? No, you have just quote several places. I'm not talking about that. I appreciate that, but I want to, you to explain to us one thing. We are now talking the 29th. Why is this man who is calling for peace, who is telling people to stay at home, <coughs> not to go in the streets, to relax at home, why is the same man, in your view, taking a, an absolute opposite position the day after? Your Honor, I object to the – I understand that it's been led by defense counsel as to the date uh, on which this recording would have been done, but there is nothing in evidence in that regard. When this uh, item of evidence of, was admitted, uh, no evidence was put on the record as to the exact date on which it was uh, broadcasted. So I object to the fact that, we're, that defense counsel is prefacing her questions as if that is already – something that's certain or it's on the record, that it is on the 29th that this was broadcasted. I think you need to be fair to the witness. If anything, uh, defense counsel can ask the witness whether he remembers this type of message, what she's just played on various occasions, being broadcasted on that date. I may briefly respond. Please. Well, first, there's lots of references here to the announcement of the results. So we know that the election has taken place. I think that's not in dispute. So it could be the 28th or the 29th. But there is a date in this recording. It is already in evidence, but we will find the date and we'll play it after lunch. Are you particularly interested in the date as such, or are you interested in the mixed messages being I sent? I'm interested in the period, in the sense that, I mean, I mean, I, uh, if this is just after the elections, I think that is not in dispute. And the 30th is after the announcement of the election. So in, in any event, we're in a very, very short time span. 
um, I mean, as I said, we will find a date for you, but the, the, the question remains the same, even if it were the 28th. The reason I ask you that question is um, one may well dwell on the date, if that's important to you. But beyond the date, there is also the other question about why somebody who is preaching peace would also be preaching the opposite of peace Absolutely. within the same time frame. Isn't that basically the, the purpose of your question? That's exactly the point. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Vesson. All right. Witness, you can answer that question. Um, I will not... Uh, I can answer this way, that if during my testimony I say son could use the same time to preach peace. And when I say this, it could also use the same to mix, to send his message. Because already the, the, the people would already demonstrating. It's, it's something that's uh, already taking place by then. The question is, why would you form the view? Yeah. Uh, maybe, hold on one second. Um, perhaps I will let Ms. Bousman repeat his, her own question. Ms. Bousman, can you repeat your own question? Because the reason I, I do not want to um, mix my own question with yours, I also have a question in that regard, but ask yours, please, first. My question is, we're talking about the same person, Mr. Witness. You have confirmed on the 1st, on the 4th, you've heard him speak about peace. You've confirmed that throughout you've heard him speak about peace, that most of the time he speaks about peace. And now we're talking about the 29th. He's speaking about peace. He's asking people to be patient, to accept the winner as the winner will be pronounced by the ECK. How is it that this same person, one day after, or two, if I'm wrong on the date, which I'm not, but um, who then ask people to go out in the street, where here he's saying, stay at home. Do you get the point? I get the point, but I've said mixed. Even if in this audio, you were saying at a certain place, he knows about the heart, the heart of the people. He knows what they believe. So what, what was he meaning? By that. Well, can I ask you another question? Yes. Could you be confused? Could you, because we, talk, uh, we talked a lot about what you thought it meant and what he actually said. We have to make that distinction. Do you agree, Mr. Witness? I, I'm not confused, Your Honor. I know exactly what you are asking, but I don't want also to, to, to believe that uh, Sang never used some of the mixed water message. But I can confirm, I've already confirmed to you that he preached peace. But also the messages where you say there were some mixed messages in that message. You said a lot of the words were not said by him. You thought that's what it meant. Do you, do you recall? I'm saying some of the message you could say, it, but some of the messages could be said by the listeners or callers. Indeed, and just to give you one example of what you said. So what, what, what you're asking the witness is that the witness heard some words from Mr. Sang for what the words are on their face, but the witness gave an interpretation of what it actually meant in the context even though Mr. Sang would not have used the words in those interpretations. Isn't that your question? Indeed. 
witness, do you understand what we're saying here? Yes. There, there were times when you said, well, this is what Mr. Sang is saying, but in light of what was happening at the time, this is what was meant by those words. Yes, Your Honor. I, I could confirm in the transcript that we have gone through, and I could also confirm that during that time I listened also sang preaching page, but at the same time I say, Your Honor, I have some portions which inflame the, 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 the violence. The but actually I can accept that sang use most of the time to preach peace. All right, Ms. Bassman. <coughs> the question is, and then I, I, you remember I asked you the question earlier about, in your own views, those times when you said he uh, used words which would result in the disruption of peace even though he was overall preaching peace and I asked you do you think he would have deliberately inserted those disruptive words in his message what was your answer again can you help me my answer is yes deliberately it did he inserted those disruptive words deliberately yes your honor and the question that follows is what gave you that impression that he was deliberately inserting those negative messages within his overall message of peace? Because um, I could believe that because after knowing that everything and uh, his radio is being listened to he will not exactly use what directly, but he can use indirectly that could mean to use that. Otherwise, he could not use that word. As he could preach peace entirely, then that, something could not happen. Can I ask you on that note, if I may? Yes, please. You always feel free to ask follow-up questions from mine, and Mr. Garcia will do the same thing if he has question, follow-up questions from the ones that I ask. Thank you, Mr. President. Appreciate it. On that note, because you, you were just saying Sorry, I want to quote you exactly. So, witness, you were saying to, when the, the judge was asking you some questions, and you were saying maybe not the exact words directly, but he can use indirectly. Yeah? So, you're making a distinction between direct and indirect. And this is exactly the point. Are you sure? That you, you, could you not be mistaken about what the indirect meaning of his words were? Repeat again the question. You were making a specific distinction <coughs> between exact words directly, but he can use indirectly. I want you, t are you sure that you know the indirect meaning of what Mr. Joshua Arab Sang said directly? Your Honor, um, there is, um, I am from that community and I'm a, I could listen to that language also. I could also listen to what he mean because I'm always listening to his, to his, uh, the radio when he's in the studio and I can understand that this one is not actually accurate it's not the right word you could have not used at that particular time but that doesn't mean that I'm saying I, will, I was not listening I was listening the entire to lay name it all the time because I could enjoy the same the same program but 
that particular moment, I could tell you that this is the position that the Samoans could come to inflame the, 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 the violence. Is it possible, Mr. Witness, that you misunderstood what Sang wanted to convey? Is it possible? Um, it's not possible that I, I was confused because I really take it until I decide even to, to, to take it as my testimony. I'm not confused at that particular, Your Honor. Can I ask one question in private, please? Private session. <laughs> Mr. Witness, you say you're of that. Just a little. Oh. We're in open session. Thank you, Ms. Bousman. Mr. Witness, just one very concrete example on the same issue. You heard that Mr. Sung said, whoever wins, wins, be patient on the 29th of December. Why then, on the 30th, he was, according to you, so disappointed with the results if the day before he was saying over and over again, we accept whoever is the winner? I don't know. It's a good moment. We will now take our lunch break at this time and we'll come back at 2.30. We'll um, go into closed session and usher the witness out of the room. <laughs>